Welcome to Lesson 3, Creating a New Project of the Getting Started series. In this video, we will create a project from scratch. First, a little information about the file structure of a project in SDS2. A project consists of two parts, the fabricator and the job. The data for the job portion of the project can be located anywhere on your network. For more information on this, please refer to the Job Repository Management and Help, which can be accessed from the Help button on the Utility Functions screen launched from the main menu. I will now create a project named Demo. Select the Change button on the main menu. The first screen that appears will be a selection list for the fabricator, as stated in the title bar. You can select an existing projects fabricator from the list, or as an arcs, select the new button to create the fabricator portion of the project. In the new fabricator field, I will type the name of the fabricator for the project, demo underscore f. The underscore f is not required, but it will make it easier when transferring models to identify that the folder is a fabricator folder. The copy from optional allows you to copy into this project the fabricator setup data from a selected project. This way you will not have to constantly redo fabricator setup options for each new project. A tip is to create a project fab and job with the name of each fabricator that you work for with the setup and sheets done to their specifications. When you are awarded a project from that fabricator you can copy the job and fab data from the fabricator's default, then modify the setup fields that pertain to the project. If you are working for a fabricator that already uses SDS2, you can request further default fabricator and job. For this project, I will leave the copy blank and use the system defaults. Units sets the units for the project. Note, if you select the incorrect units, you can always change them after in the fabricator setup. Once you OK it out of the window, the job selection list portion of the project will open. Again, you can select a job from the list or create new. Now, I will type in the name demo underscore j for the job portion of the project. You will notice that I have a repository for the job portion of the project. This is because I created one using Job Repository Management. Again, you see an option to copy job data from another project. The callout with an I indicates important information that you need to be aware of. In this case, it informs you that job setup, sheet outlines, user-defined connections, and if requested, the material file from the source copy job will be copied. You can set the design method and once again you can change this in setup if you make a mistake but in this case you'll have to mark and reprocess the project to use the new design code. Flavors will need a video of their own. This will set the custom properties or user attributes that will be used on the project. For now just use the design data flavor and you will be up to date on the latest and greatest. Approximate number of members will create maximum available space on the hard drive for this project. Think of it this way. Your hard drive is a filing cabinet and you're adding to a labeled drawer in the filing cabinet file folders which can expand to a specified size. If you do not use the files, they'll take no space. But if you do use the files, they can only contain a certain amount of documents. This feature was created so that the system could quickly locate and access the required files in a project, instead of searching locations across the entire hard drive. For the value to input, you estimate the approximate number of members in the project, and then you add about 10%. Too large a value will cause the system to search more space than necessary, and too small a value will force you to increase the file size during the project. This value can be expanded using the change file size in Utility Functions. With Material File, you'll be selecting the Material section properties that will be available on the project. Please see the Material File video for more information on this. Your project is now created. This concludes Lesson 3, Creating a Project.